Look what I've got here. It's a replica Hot Points WM7 series Caston Washmatic Child Toy Wash Machine for ages 3 to 8. Actually, there's a specific reason why it ends at 8. And that's very weird because actually, very recently, instruction manuals are putting in their instructions that the washing machine, uh, full size washing machines, can be uh, safely operated from the age of 8. We're gonna unbox it and see what we're gonna get. So, it's brand new, which I purchased for including PMP for £25. Hmm. I'm gonna pull it out this way. It's a bit different from the one I had one. Now, I originally had one that really was an exact replica of the original Hot Point. But um, due to several things I'm going to explain in a minute, everything's uh, kind of changed. So, one thing I can sort of feel is how light it is. There's no weight in it at all, as in like, it weighs less than a bag of sugar, literally. But when I had one, it felt a bit more heavier. Well, they're saying that, you still need the C batteries in it, and they weigh quite a fair bit. Right, so, um, a couple of things. The finish on this is a bit poor. Um, it's like they've tried to cut back on the grey as much as possible. So, it uh, actually is this. This is what it's a, a replica of. This is a Hot Point W175, but it also replicates the W172, 71, 73, 76, and 74 um, graphite versions, or um, Mercury versions, as it's also known as. So, we've got silver buttons, um, and obviously, we've got along here silver buttons as well. We've got our bi um, our display here, which is also up here, uh, but we've only got four, this one has eight, seven, sorry, and then I've got only four lights down here which sort of replicate the buttons on the machine. The door, um, it's, it has the replica kind of button on it still, um, but the plastic heat guard which, non, which really was replicated back in the day, uh, which is actually on the uh, washing machine versions, kind of just sort of uh, gone a bit. Hmm. So I'm going to open it up. So inside, the there's a drum with three paddles. Actually, that's quite unusual. Um, so that's an upgrade. So the original one didn't even have any paddles on it, but the original one was actually like a chrome. So it looks a bit like stainless steel. Um, right. We've also got our basket, which that hasn't changed. That really is still the same. That's actually, that is stronger than a normal traditional basket. Modern day baskets, proper laundry baskets, are so flimsy. So, the downside of the new Washmatic, so there's a couple of things. Right, one, we've got white instead of silver. It really was, the original ones were exactly the same colour scheme as the actual machine. Um, two, we've lost the Hot Point logo. And I'm not sure why, but it seemed to have went when Hot, when hot Point and Insip were acquired by. Uh, Whirlpool. So it looks like the original Hot Points, the original GE Hot Point logo, which we have up here, did run until Indesit took over, and then they managed to actually acquire the Indesit type um, Hot Point logo later on, on the later series. It is likely that when Whirlpool 
Apple bought it. They've asked for the permission or whatever, and even bought, tried to buy the rights maybe, but the Whirlpool have either said no, or the Whirlpool are charging too much for the rights. So you get this little box of washing powder too, but you have to make it yourself. Uh, let's try and do it then. So that folds like, it's just a simple sort of half already done. Like that, and like, push that down, and that goes in there. And it's very simple. There we go, very simple construction. And we've got our washing powder, which is, um, says one kilo and does up to 20 washes, but that is massive compared to the actual machine. I mean, that's like a 90 wash box, really, of white surf. But that's another thing as well that's changed. Um, that used to be an actual personal non bio box that had 10 washes. That's gone as well. It's just a cheap generic kind of thing um, right so on the side we've got our there we go it says obviously you've got light soiling normal soiling dirty soiling dirty so now it says heavy um, it even says add an extra 130 ml of powder that's a lot to the pre-wash and top loads and twin tubs double the de dosage recommendation for your particular wash conditions that's a bit weird i've never seen that before on an actual detergent box hand washing use 120 ml of powder per 10 liters of water now this actually makes no sense because if anyone does the maths of 130 ml it's probably roughly about 100 gram and therefore if you times that by 10 you get one kilo so how the hell do you get 20 washes out of it? Hand washing, 120 mil, that's a lot. Uh, remember, always check the article's care label. Follow. Uh, do not use this palette for walls and silks. Yeah, that seems about normal. Don't wash flame resistant fabrics in hot water above 50. Yeah, that's normal. Don't soak non cold fast. That's normal. And if you have any doubt about the cold fastness or new cold articles, wash quickly and separately in a cool, 40-ish degrees solution. For best non-biological protection of cold articles, use non-bio-liquid. Yeah, there's a bit of sense there. Uh, out to use, we recommend this powder should be used in the dispenser drill of your washing machine. We do not advise using the dosing bowl. Yeah, that's normal too. It says this play box contains 20 imaginary washers, or in fact far more depending on your imagination. I just told you that it actually has about 10 in it. Um, right, non-biological powder contains, amongst other ingredients, less than 5% of soap, 5-15% uh, of ionic suffocants and butter. Butter? And then 15 to 30 percent of phosphate and ox hair. This product also contains a brand. It's a bit weird that they're having a bit of a, a giggle about the ingredients, but there really is actual ingredients on there of actual washing powders. So it at least teaches something. Although there's no um, oxygen-based. Basically, the bleach not uh, bleaching is not in it. There's no bleach in it. Reduce packaging waste, avoid underfilling the machine, measure according to soil level. Actually, this is quite... The little box powder is quite fun, um, quite imaginative, but actually at the same time, very honest and actually though true to life. Hmm, I like that. So, right, we're going to put some batteries in. It doesn't come with batteries. We're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver. Oh, and a little other thing we're going to show you is this. They give you this. So it's a manual handle at the back, which, again, hasn't, actually, that hasn't changed. It says, warning roof for battery operation. Yeah, the one reason that was is because it kind of little, it catched a little bit. Can you see how it wobbles about? I left it in on my original one. It did kind of make a bit of a racket. So that allows you to spin the drum. Yeah. Ta-da! Right, so we'll put the batteries in. 
we're going to turn it round. We need to get ourselves a, a screwdriver. Bit of pressure just to initially release it. Takes three C batteries, which always annoy me because you end up with one spare C battery. Not particularly, this battery compartment is a bit rubbish. So, right, so I had one of these when I was a kid. Um, and I had it for some time, I mean like probably, okay, not sound very long, but over a year or two years maybe. Um, but I hammered it, so absolutely hammered it. I only ever had one. Um, the motor eventually just sort of gave up. Probably, I don't know, maybe the stretch the belt or whatever. Because it seems it will go really slowly in the, towards the end. So I just ended up using that for years on end. Um, and eventually, I, I think we moved house or something. Because I used to have a, a play area in the loft. Right, so let's see if it works. Power on. Bell. There you go. So last we moved, because that flies off if it's left on. Eco wash. Don't know why. And finally spin. And when we're done, we turn it off by the power. So a little thing about this, it says white cotton, uh, it says plus rinse, uh, the lock's on, and it says C, 40 degrees, which is a bit wrong, because actually program C um, on the hot point is actually non colour fast cotton, white cotton is actually program A, and the other, uh, but white cotton on the mechanical dial ones was program C. So there's a little bit of mix up there. That's not changed, that's always been the same as well.
Right, so there's some things that are a little bit bothering me, so we're going to try and to work it out. Now, first of all, apparently, there's some things on here that can break off and therefore a child could eat. Because this is sort of intended for my 15 month old son, and somebody else has also bought one in the past with 18 month old son as well, and same for me. So I'm going to turn it on, I'm going to press spin. Right, so the door stops it from working. Oh, it continues when uh, you close it back up again. That's nice. I don't actually remember Muin actually doing that. Um, I'm trying to work out why this is, is like, not suitable for a baby. Yeah, that drawer is massive. There's your detergent drawer compartment. There's nothing really in it. In fact, looking inside, can you see? That tub is only half the depth of the actual machine. So, God knows where like, the rest of it is. Right, so looking at it, there's not many screws on this either. There's six on the back there, and um, so that's it. So it looks like this is, if it breaks, it's unserviceable, really. Um, oh, that. I don't see why it shouldn't break. Um, it will break eventually. I'm going to put it back in. There's nothing that will uh, come off. I don't think. I don't understand why it's just three, uh, three years onwards. The only thing I can think of that bits might break off is maybe if you chewed that, but it's cardboard, so... Hmm. Right. So, given I've taken this... This is the first time out. I'm not happy with the finish of it. It's a bit... It is definitely cheap. They've, um, they've brought back the plastic so thin that this is why we're getting this weird effect on it. Um, I'm going to keep it, I'm not sending it back because um, I think it would be great for my son. But I would love the old one back that I used to have years ago. Hmm. Right, um, first give this out of 10, I'll probably only give it around 6 out of 10. It is cheap, but it's lacking some abilities and it's lacking build qualities um, and I have played with some like the much cheaper machines that feel a bit better built. Um, I like the safety feature, um, you've seen to cover all the safety features that need on this, Not, still not sure why it's only 3 to 8, but even so. Right. Thank you for watching this review. I hope you found this review good. Um, right, I'm gonna do a little video at some point of my own 15 month old boy playing with it. Um, that's if you'll play with it. And that should be up soon.